so yesterday we started the ir revision class so yesterday i have completed asia southeast asia asia completed or southeast asia completed asia we have completed sark bimstek iora sagar project masan i think this we have not completed isn't it asean now in southeast asia southeast asia will be covering so asean india india asean summit east asia summit east asia summit rcep mekong ganga cooperation shanghai cooperation organization south china sea apec adb is it clear so these are the regional groupings mainly related with southeast asian nations so asean asean when it comes to asean you should aware of how many countries are there whether india is a member or not asean is a association of southeast asian nations so it consists of 10 members its headquarters is at where so headquarters is at jakarta headquarters is jakarta so this bangkok declaration is the founding document for the establishment of asean don't confuse asean is mainly based on the bangkok declaration india is not a member what is the capital city of indonesia nusantara clear bangkok declaration jakarta 10 members india is not a member and you see that association of southeast nations if you look at india india's neighbors mainly this is this asean five members your myanmar thailand cambodia laos vietnam singapore malaysia indonesia brunei philippines you should aware of the members of this asean so when it comes to sark when it comes to bimstek when it comes to asean you should aware of the member countries i repeat it consists of 10 members myanmar thailand cambodia laos vietnam malaysia singapore indonesia brunei brunei philippines in never aithe workbook theesukoledo you can collect it it will pass it will come to your table don't worry now you should aware of asean so mostly two times in a year they will meet because it's just like a regional grouping all the countries they can immediately meet so that's why so in order to have the meeting regularly they have twice in a year recently 38th and 39th summits were conducted by brunei next to 40 and 41 cambodia when it comes to asean at the same venue you will have asean east asia summit and india asean india asean when it comes to india asean so the chair is co-chaired by india and the current chairperson of asean that's why you can uh, see in the newspaper india asean summit india asean summit is co-chaired by brunei and prime minister modi so it consists of 10 members it consists of 18 members this consists of 11 members in a similar context you are having rcep regional comprehensive economic partnership agreement which is a regional free trade agreement consists of how many members 15 members don't confuse with india india negotiated but at the last minute so india has pulled out from this rcep negotiations any reasons for it why india has pulled out from this rcep now you can see rcep regional comprehensive economic partnership consists of asean plus five members this five members are china australia new zealand south korea japan so india is fearing of dumping of manufactured products manufacturing goods from china and also agriculture and processed 
products from australia and new zealand you know australia and new zealand is known for dairy products that's the one of the reason that so india has pulled out from rcep do you know when this rcep came into enforcement yes right on 1st january 2022 India ASEAN, yes, it is the recently 18th India ASEAN summit conducted at the same venue, Brunei. So this is very important. So just like so, ASEAN outlook for the Indo-Pacific region and India's Indo-Pacific Oceans Initiative. It's a part of your activist policy. is it clear asean india asean east asia summit rcep next east asia east asia summit east asia summit how many members are there in east asia summit hmm? yes 18 18 members are there asean plus 8 so here you can find so us as well as russia very rarely you can find the combination of india russia china america east asia summit is one such grouping where you can find china india yes east asia summit you should aware of the recent uh, place of summit any doubts in case of asean East Asia Summit, India ASEAN, RCEP, Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership Agreement. So this is your RCEP, which consists of fifteen members, ten members of ASEAN plus five members: Australia, New Zealand, China, South Korea, and Japan. now so japan south korea and australia new zealand so they are negotiating so with the government of india to be part of negotiations of rcep again they visualized india would be a big market for the manufactured products by china as well as dairy products from so oceania countries so this is very important it came into enforcement from 1st january 2022 rcep the fourth regional conference of rcep has been virtually held in order to recognize the enforcement or signing of rcep that's not important members are important enforcement date is important how many members are there in asean so i o r a sark bimstick bimstick 7 sark 8 this one asean 10 india asean so east asia summit rcep yes so next is apec asia pacific economic cooperation apec so which consists of 21 members as i said if the number of nations are more than single digit don't remember the uh, members of this organization but you have to give focus to india india is aspiring to be a member of this apec its headquarters is at singapore its headquarters is at singapore asean headquarters is at jakarta apec singapore bimstick yes bimstick dhaka sar kathmandu so how many members are there 21 india is having observer status is it over 
So, any organization we missed when it comes to uh, Southeast Asia? Anything you read in the newspaper other than the organizations which we have discussed? Mekong Ganga Corporation and ADB. So, this Mekong Ganga Corporation, so it is based on Mekong River, so which passes through how many countries? Mekong River. Yesterday we discussed six nations. What are those? Yeah, the five five Southeast nations plus China. Mekong, the name itself says Mekong and Ganga Corporation. Exclude China, which consists of six nations. Ganga River passes through India. Mekong River passes through five Southeast nations like Myanmar, Thailand, Cambodia, Laos, Vietnam. Basically, it is not that much active. But they uh, publicize it is a part of activist policy. So whatever that is related to connecting India with Southeast nations, you can include as integral part of your activist policy or doctrine of activist policy. Are we clear? Yes. Next, ASEAN Development Bank, ADB. When it comes to ADB, you should aware the member nation, there is a one important point, whether the members outside of this ASEAN Pacific region can be a members of this ADB. Yes. yes. So the total members are 68, which consists of both from ASEAN region, Pacific region, even outside of Asia Pacific. Basically in the exam, they'll touch this point. You may confuse that, you know, the only the nations from Asia Pacific would be members. No. So this ADB has been model, uh, modeled on the lines of World Bank. You know, World Bank, you can contribute to your own voting rights. Say, uh, Japan and USA contributes equal, equal share and they are having equal voting rights. Both Japan and uh, USA contributed equal capital. As a result, they are having equal voting rights. Next is China. Next is India. They will ask you that, you know, so chronological order in terms of capital or in terms of voting rights when it comes to ADB. So its headquarters is at Manila. Manila is the capital city, capital city of <laughs> Philippines. International Rice Research Center is located in Manila. Look at uh, Luzon State, Luzon State or Luzon Islands. You can find whenever volcano happens, they may report Luzon Islands in Philippines. So then it releases Asian Development Outlook. It releases Asian Development Outlook. When it comes to World Bank, IMF, World Economic Forum, ADB, ADB. OPEC, there is one more thing, International Energy Agency, you should aware of the important reports or at least two reports or one report released by these organizations. ADB releases Asian Development Outlook. World Development Report is released by World Bank. Human Development Index, UNDP, no? Ease of Doing Business, World Bank. So, Global Competitiveness Index, World Economic Forum, Global Gender Gap Report, Global Inequality Index, yeah, so at the end, we'll compare it, okay, always you'll be confused. We'll compare IMF, World Bank, World Economic Forum, important reports released, ADB. Is it clear? ADB is modeled on the lines of World Bank. Its members can be outside of your Asia Pacific region. So, India is having fourth position. Sometimes India would be the top position in terms of receiving the credit, not contribution. Next, Shanghai Cooperation Organization. Shanghai Cooperation Organization. Now, we are moving from Southeast Asia to China. Shanghai Cooperation Organization, which is considered 
so political economic security organization it's a intergovernmental any organization if it is represented by intergovernments intergovernments that organization is so powerful if governments themselves are participating in any organization then the directly the governments can act or react isn't it so shanghai cooperation organization is such an uh, one of the example for such kind of groupings where you can find all political economic security aspects how many members are there eight, eight members are there now you see uh, central uh, central stan countries kazakhstan kyrgyzstan open your atlas central asian nations Kazi, uh, kazakhstan tajikistan kyrgyzstan uzbekistan turkmenistan so top you know from caspian sea if you want to reach india you just follow tapi gas pipeline turkmenistan afghanistan pakistan india if you want to reach from india to india ipi iran pakistan india is it clear so this sanghai cooperation organization has been emerging as one of the effective platform for anti terror activities anti terror activities both political aspects as well as economic aspects are involved so there are eight members previously six members were there five stan countries are four stan countries except turkmenistan you should aware always we test that whether you are you are aware of that fact or not turkmenistan is not a member of sco kazakhstan kyrgyzstan uzbekistan hmm? kyrgyzstan china plus russia is mongolia is a member of it no next recently india pakistan joined this sco its headquarters is at beijing gurutusna chadivani so recent summit recent summit held at uh, uh, samarkand samarkand so in uzbekistan they had a uh, samarkand declaration now this declarations are becoming very popular no udaipur declaration warangal declaration only declaration there won't be any action so the samarkand declaration yes they focuses on mainly commitment to peaceful settlement of differences and disputes between countries through dialogue and consultation only it will look like a very powerful statements no you know the tamasha between india and china so china on the borders of uh, line of actual control or eastern borders so they have very strategic positions so on the borders they'll take two positions forward in retaliation india also will take one step forward then both of them will be in confrontation india will negotiate china will say okay you move backward i will also move backward india will go one step china one step what is effective one step advance for china so are you aware of the members they'll ask you when the member of nations are single is it yes you have to remember the nations so here uh, the important point is that next the summit of sco is going to held at india so i think recently you have mentioned about g20 summit is going to be hosted by india hmm? g20 g20 next sco so 2023 clear so next is sco rats which has been in the news which is known as regional anti terrorist structure don't confuse this sco is having headquarters at beijing whereas the secretariat of this rats is at where yes tashkent no iran is not added as a member rats hmm? like your uh, ats anti terrorist squads 
which has been constituted as a specialized uh, uh, responsive bodies in in wake of anti terror activities after mumbai attack so when it comes to so southeast asia very important after uh, asia we have discussed here asian in asian summit east asia summit rcep apec adb mekong seo then south china sea so what is meant by south china sea is india ocean indian ocean belongs to india hmm? indian ocean is yes or no what about south china sea hmm? south china sea so as you know that indian ocean so does not belongs whole to india similarly south china sea does not belongs to china but why there is a conflict always you can read some kind of uh, aggression in south china sea so like your black sea like your black sea crimea is known for minerals similarly similarly the south china sea is known for so exploration of oil and gas you might be read about 9 dash line 9 dash line 10 degree channel 9 degree channel 8 degree channel duncan passes what about 8 degree channel hmm? 8 degree channel 8 it separate minicoy islands with maldives next 9 degree channel next 10 degree channel yeah andaman group of islands nicobar group of islands 11 degree channels can you say these are demarcated based on the latitude hmm? 8 degree northern latitude is 8 degree channel in 9 dash line 9 dash line represents represents it's a it's a sovereign claiming 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 done by china demarcated with 9 dashes 1 dash second third fourth fifth telling that the territories which are falling under this nine dashes are sovereign territories of china will you agree why don't you agree you have to prove no first you have to claim this is my territory then you will ask that you know do you have any proof if you don't if you fails to prove it then china can claim it so in that context we are having one important convention that is known as united nations convention on law of sea which is a, a un a convention un convention so which promotes freedom of navigation what is meant by freedom of navigation so the freedom of navigation is guaranteed based on the sovereign rights of littoral nations say for example india is there from india so if i say this as a baseline so this baseline is demarcated by respective nations baseline is demarcated by respective nations so from the baseline so as per the un nations convention on law of sea so they are having 12 nautical miles further 12 nautical 200 then after 200 nautical miles why they have taken nautical mile why not kilometers one nautical mile is equal to 1.85 kilometers is there any logic so you know uh, this longitudes longitudes facilitates navigation the distance between the distance between 1 degree longitude is equal to 1 nautical mile are you clear so if i say 2 nautical miles say for example if i am taking 8 degree eastern longitude total means 20 degrees eastern longitude one nautical mile is equal to the distance between 1 degree longitude that's a logic so internal waters territorial waters contiguous zone exclusive economic zone then high sea so up to territorial waters you are having national air space sovereign national air space 
after that so it's a international air space so this freedom of navigation rights is is regulated based on the distance within the internal waters yes you are having 100% rights the respective nations are having 100% rights when it comes to territorial sea you are having sovereign rights but protected with innocent passes of the innocent passes of the people say for example you might be read in the newspaper so uh, india indian fishermen arrested by sri lankan navy released is it a deliberate or innocent it was innocent now it is a i should not say no so it means that uh, they may not be not, uh, not having clear cut demarcation whether they are traveling in the so within the territorial waters or so i mean contiguous zone up to 12 nautical miles you are having right to innocent passes right to innocent passes and this right is not there in contiguous zone sir reverse reverse yes this right is not there in the internal waters this right is not available in internal waters what about this exclusive economic zone so the respective countries are having right to explore the minerals right to explore the minerals but you cannot claim exclusive again there is a we have international seabed authority which will decide so who has to explore it here you have to understand 9 dash line you have to understand 9 dash line on the islands which are been in in the news parasal scarbora sprakli islands so this is your scarbora parasal islands sprakli islands in a similar context try to understand 38 degrees northern latitude 49 degrees northern latitudes these are international latitudes which will separate between north and south and korea north korea and south korea whereas 49 degrees northern latitude is a international border between canada and usa so we have completed southeast asia so in similarly this is a international tribunal on law of sea its headquarters is at hamburg itlos hamburg ekkada undi germany yeah so can you recollect south east asians asian india asian summit east asia summit rcep apec adb mekong south china i mean shanghai cooperation organization south china sea places in news issues in news so next is your west asia next is your west asia i think yesterday we discussed about west asia mesopotamia mesopotamia civilization persian civilization arabian peninsula open your arabian peninsula can you note red sea red sea red sea split it into two branches gulf of suez gulf of aqaba red sea so from arabian sea if you travel on gulf of aden gulf of aden you can find red sea from red sea you can find two gulfs one is gulf of suez gulf of aqaba through this gulf of aqaba you can access israel yesterday even we have discussed about gaza strip west bank israel palestine golan heights hmm? israel lebanon syria jordan are we clear look at arab peninsula arab peninsula or arabian peninsula like your saudi arabia yemen oman uae qatar bahrain kuwait jordan could you able to locate persian gulf what is meant by gulf hmm? gulf a narrow narrow strip of waters so surrounded by waters in three sides connected with water 
പർഷ്യൻ ഗൾഫ് ഗൾഫ് കോപ്പറേഷൻ കൗൺസിൽ ജി സി സി ഗൾഫ് കോപ്പറേഷൻ കൗൺസിൽ ജി സി സി കൺസിസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് സിക്സ് മെമ്പേഴ്സ് റൈറ്റ് ഓൺ ദ മെമ്പേഴ്സ് സിക്സ് മെമ്പേഴ്സ് വെൻ ദ നമ്പർ ഓഫ് ഓർഗനൈസേഷൻസ് ആർ ലെസ് ദാൻ ഐ മീൻ സിംഗിൾ ഡിജിറ്റ് യു ഹാവ് ടു റിമെമ്പർ ദ നേഷൻസ് is aiman member of this one no yes yes sir no yeah. aiman is not a member oman uae saudi arabia qatar bahrain i repeat oman uae saudi arabia qatar bahrain kuwait its headquarters is at what is the capital of saudi arabia hmm? riyadh yes riyadh gulf cooperation council so basically it's a political body political body be clear that yemen is not a member iran is not a member so this is your gcc so oman uae qatar bahrain kuwait and saudi arabia can you locate gwadar port gwadar chabahar port bandar e abbas chabar chabahar ekkada undi iran gwadar bandar e abbas iran iran strait of hormos is it located or is it connecting red sea with the arabian sea or persian gulf with the arabian sea persian gulf is iraq is having access to persian gulf yes iraq is it having yes yes look at the borders of turkey turkey which is also known as asia minor asia minor turkey is also known as asia minor you might have read about ottoman empire ottoman empire anatolia peninsula which is also known as anatolia peninsula anatolia tell me the southern neighbors of turkey syria iraq what about iran yes iran iran iraq syria look at georgia azerbaijan armenia between between which which seas caspian sea and black sea armenia is a landlocked nation Armenia is a landlocked. Georgia is sharing border with Black Sea. Whereas Azerbaijan, Caspian Sea. If you are reading newspaper, you might have read some important class. So class is at Caucasus. Caucasus Mountains. There is a Nagorno-Karabakh. Can you see this one? Here, you can see. on the border between azerbaijan and armenia can you identify some place which is starting with n nachi gave something n a c h i g a v something in political map you can find in uh, political map nachi gao i think so so this territory has been in the news between azerbaijan and armenia anpichinda na chi nachike small small trip small strip of land so next is your opec opec nations organization of petroleum exporting countries opec so it consists of 13 nations opec so its headquarters is at yes vienna 
So as I said that if the number of organizations are more than single digit, don't remember. But what do you have to remember? Its headquarters is at Vienna. Can we say Austria is also Austria is also a member of this OPEC? So yes, Austria is not a member of this organization. Austria is not a member of this OPEC. It releases World Oil Outlook. It releases World Oil Outlook. Now you can find OPEC Plus in the news articles. OPEC Plus. OPEC Plus. Like the uh, major major oil producing countries, but not the members of this OPEC. Like uh, your Azerbaijan, Bahrain, Kazakhstan, Malaysia, Mexico, Russia, like this. So try to remember Russia. Hmm? Try to remember Russia. Russia is not a member of OPEC, but OPEC plus. Clear? Gulf Cooperation Council, OPEC, OPEC plus. So this report is very important. Oil outlook is released by OPEC. Asta is not a member of this OPEC. So next important organization is that OIC, organization for organization of the Islamic Conference uh, previously. Now it is organization for Islamic cooperation, OIC, which consists of 57 members, mostly uh, Islamic dominated countries, protecting the interest of Islamic nations. India is not a member of it. Whenever there is a human rights violations in Jammu and Kashmir, you can expect some news, I mean, uh, some declaration from this OIC condemning the human rights violations by government of India. Where its headquarters? It's Jeddah. Jeddah in Saudi Arabia. So Jeddah is known as Gateway of Saudi Arabia. Jeddah is known as Gateway of Saudi Arabia. Okay, OIC. Next, I think we forget about Arab League. Arab League. Arab League, which consists of so Wana nations. What about Wana? West Asia plus North Africa. West Asia plus North Africa. So this Morocco, Algeria, Tunisia, Libya, Egypt. This northern part. And this Arab Peninsula, which consists of 22 nations. Its headquarters is at its headquarters is at Cairo. Cairo is capital city of Egypt. So when it comes to OIC, Arab League, Gulf Cooperation Council, try to remember their headquarters also. The nations go to Snaimiku, Atlas Nunchi Wakoka organization Miku. At least you could able to eliminate some organizations. Oh, it's very important. Syria's participation has been suspended. Has been suspended mainly because of violation of human rights violations. So when it comes to West Asia, we have discussed up about Gulf Cooperation Council, OIC, Arab League, OPEC, OPEC Plus. Important borders of Israel, Israel, Turkey, very, very important. So next, I think I have already discussed this INSTC, so International North-South Transport Corridor. So from Mumbai to Moscow, M to M, Mumbai to Moscow, M to M, uh, multimodal. What is meant by multimodal transport corridor? So to reach from Mumbai to Moscow, you have to travel by road, you have to travel by water also. So from Mumbai, Bandari Abbas through Iran, then so even Azerbaijan is there, Caspian Sea, then Astrakhan, then St. Petersburg. From St. Petersburg, then Baltic Sea, then you can reach the 
is western side of your europe also international north south transport corridor here the important points is that india iran russia india iran russia recently uh, chabahar port also connected with this instc so now you can access from chabahar port to central asia via afghanistan so in this context you should aware of askabat agreement askabat agreement they may just test you whether you are aware of this agreement or not ashkabat agreement often in news is related to that set it's a multimodal transport agreement involving central asian countries india also involved in it india has ratified it india has ratified it ashkabat is the capital city of yes turkmenistan this is directly they will copy and thank you for sharing the organizations and the chadurnara so next is uh, your europe in europe we have to know about european union nato so eurasian economic union and issues in news so in the context of europe you should aware of uh, union european union european uh, central bank european parliament european council european commission european court european court so you can compare with indian union with european union they have right to right to exit you don't have right to exit pre exit so it's a union of union of european nations you can compare with indian union when it comes to european central bank reserve bank when it comes to european parliament indian parliament when it comes to european commission and council we are having council and cabinet you know you are having council of ministers as well as cabinet ministers so similarly the difference between commission and council is that council consists of representation from all the countries whereas commission is a action body commission is a action body just like your cabinet whereas european court court of justice european court of justice location is very important so try to locate your uh, belgium belgium luxembourg in europe there are six powerful organizations or nations like italy france germany uk so this is your european union so as of now uh, there are 27 members so after exit of uh, uk now european union consists of 28 members 28 members sorry 27 members 27 members now uk is not a member so pre exit formally on 31st january 2020 because of pre exit so three prime ministers has been changed you know who was the first person there is some previously there was one more person hmm? david cameron david cameron called david cameron director no James Cameron na no? I think his name ends with Cameron only I don't know James or David So Cameron then Theresa May then Boris Johnson now hmm? Distress Listress yes mainly because of pre exit mainly because of so exit and having their independence UK is having their own currency pound sterling you no know, pound sterling yes so the, there were six founding members you can find uh, this one belgium luxembourg luxembourg 
Netherlands. No, this is your Netherlands. Next, Belgium, Luxembourg. Netherlands, Belgium, Luxembourg. Plus, Italy, France, Germany. So, European Union, previously it is known as EEU. Sorry. EEC. Don't confuse between EEC and EEU. This is European Economic Community. That is Eurasian Economic Union. They may ask you that, you know, previously it is known as European Economic Community. So, this European Union has been established by Maastricht Treaty. Maastricht Treaty. Very important, Maastricht Treaty. Then they wanted to reform in the name of Treaty of Lisbon. Treaty of Lisbon. Establishment by means of Maastricht Treaty. Reforms by means of Treaty of Lisbon. Both are related to European Union. Yeah, David Cameron. Is it clear? Maastricht Treaty, Treaty of Lisbon, European Union. Then, so I think you might be reading about Eurozone, Schengen area. So, Eurozone is related to having single currency, single currency that is known as Euro. It has been adapted by 19 EU members and also more than seven members of non-Euro, non-Euro, small, small nations. What about Schengen area? It's a free movement of people. You don't require passport. Like to visit your Nepal and Bhutan, you don't require passport. You can visit. Schengen area. Now, are you clear? European Union, European Commission, Central Bank, Court of Justice, Eurozone, Schengen area, and Maastricht Treaty, Treaty of Lisbon. Try to know only at the surface level. Don't go deep. If you go deep, you'll get confusion. Now, look at the members of uh, European Union. So, at least Europe. Each nation will consist like our one state, no? Portugal, Spain, France, Germany, Poland, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, Belarus, Ukraine. Now tell me, so Scandinavian countries, which of the following nations are known as Scandinavian nations? Norway, Sweden, Sweden. Finland or Denmark? So Nordic countries? Nordic. Five nations, right? Norway, Sweden, Finland, Denmark, Iceland, including your Aland Islands as well as Farol Islands. Example for Baltic nations. Examples for Baltic. Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania. Which nation is sitting like on uh, Baltic Sea? Sweden. Which nation is known as land of thousand lakes? Finland. Finland. So next is your NATO. So North Atlantic Treaty Organization. Its headquarters is at Brussels. I think I want to uh, mention one, two points here, European Union. So Central Bank of European Commission, uh, that is European Central Bank is located at Frankfurt, ECB. It's located at Frankfurt. Parliament, everything is located at Brussels, whereas European Court of Justice is located at Luxembourg. These places are very important. Luxembourg, European Court of Justice, European Central Bank, Frankfurt in Germany, remaining uh, European Parliament, Council, Commission located at Brussels, capital of Belgium. So next is North Atlantic Treaty Organization. So its headquarters is at Brussels. They have very important statement. Attack and one is considered as attack on all. That's a founding statement. Attack on one nation is considered as attack on all nations. North Atlantic Treaty Organization, which consists of so 30. Uh, basically, it is for military cooperation, military cooperation. 
so the whole episode of your russia ukraine crisis as a result of ukraine is showing interest to join nato russia is resisting it why now you see that you know russia can easily access the market of africa the market of russia via black sea mediterranean sea suez canal if that route is closed then they have to travel all the way all the way from where they have to travel or they have to travel like this so one is political another aspect is security so nato has supplied are seeking interest to join in nato so russia has been resisting to uh, not to join in nato clear so its headquarters is at brussels so its members mainly consists of european and two members from north america canada and usc so next is so your eurasian economic union don't confuse between this eec so this is your european economic community eurasian economic community this one is eurasian economic union consists of five nations russia and its former members of ussr union of soviet socialist republic so kazakhstan kyrgyzstan belarus armenia which is not popular organization but if they want to test you they can ask you because it is very rarely you can find in the newspapers is turkey member of nato yes. turkey yes turkey is a member of nato turkey is a asian country or european country both what about russia both both europe and asia next to oecd organization for economic cooperation and development oecd organization for economic economic cooperation and development so its headquarters is at paris they have very interesting line i often repeat whatever the weather whatever the weather we must move together that's the tagline of oecd so oecd so basically so consists of uh, around 38 members oecd also established iea very important international energy agency international energy agency it's a secretariat is also lies in the secretariat of oecd you know uh, opec opec releases world oil outlook whereas this one releases world energy outlook that one is oil outlook this one is energy outlook this oecd members mainly uh, developed nations uh, industrialized nations and advanced lifestyles you can find their per capita income organization for economic cooperation and development clear so in case of uh, europe we have discussed about nato european union oecd next is your africa before going to africa i think we have to discuss about map point so open your atlas africa very interesting easy to draw can you see equator uh, prime meridian tropic of cancer tropic of capricorn passes through africa prime meridian equator tropic of cancer tropic of capricorn passes through africa can you locate victoria lake victoria falls victoria island
who is this victoria hmm? queen yeah queen victoria we are also having victoria house no where it is victoria house kolkata lo undi kada manaki victoria house yeah look at uh, victoria lake victoria lake largest lake in africa from there you can find nile river moving from moving from south sudan south sudan is it touching uganda hmm? nile river is passing through uganda yes or no next south sudan sudan is it can you locate blue blue nile white nile blue nile originates in ethiopia have you read about any great african dam or great renaissance ethiopian dam great renaissance ethiopian dam located in ethiopia on blue nile blue nile and white nile joins at the capital of khartoum capital city of khartoum sudan capital of sudan what is the capital city of south sudan juba like your pet name juba south sudan sudan egypt could you able to locate aswan dam nessar lake on nile river aswan dam in egypt nile is the longest river in the world longest largest river is amazon is equator passing through this nile is tropic of cancer passes through this one so victoria through victoria equator is passing isn't it can you see niger river niger in west africa niger nigeria chad cameroon so sahara desert can you see sahara desert sahara desert north of your africa borders of uh, your southern mediterranean sea try to locate tunisia known for jasmine revolution a tunisian revolution you know muhammad gaddafi dethroning of muhammad gaddafi muhammad gaddafi so this jasmine revolution so has triggered the dictatorial governments in wana nations west asia and north africa nations now can you expect same kind of reactions from sri lankan crisis sri lanka crisis is more dangerous no which is spreading to other nations also so morocco algeria tunisia libya egypt tell me that out of this nations uh, so which nations are sharing border with mediterranean sea morocco algeria tunisia libya egypt all are sharing no just look at the rivers nile is over nile is originating from victoria emptifies into mediterranean sea blue nile and white nile are major tributaries grand renaissance ethiopian dam located in in ethiopia has been in the news now look at niger river niger river this tropic of cancer is cutting this river twice don't you agree mm. tropic of cancer is cutting this river twice similarly look at congo river very interesting facts these are so for geography faculty africa is very very easy to teach you very interesting facts you can teach you congo river is equator cutting through this twice 
Now tell me that which river has been cut Tropic of Cancer twice in India? Hmm? Mahi. Yes. Here, equator is passing twice in Congo. Similarly, Limpopo. Limpopo. Limpopo, Orange River, Jambezi River. Jambezi River, Limpopo River, Orange River. Can you see Tropic of Cancer passes twice through Limpopo? Physical map lo chodandi. Political look and picture. So this is your Limpopo, this is your RN, Jambezi, Congo, Niger, Nile. Nile River, Niger, Congo, Jambezi, Limpopo, Orange, Senegal. The matching echo possible on Tundi. So reverse is over Nile, Niger, Senegal, Congo, Limpopo, Jambezi, Orange. Look at uh, Orange River. Is it empty fires into which ocean? Atlantic. Yes. What about Jambezi and Limpopo? Indian Ocean. Indian Ocean. One, one river is flowing towards west and the two rivers are flowing towards eastern side. These are rivers. Next, lakes. Victoria Lake, Nasser Lake, Victoria Lake, largest in terms of area, Nasser Lake, Tangan Ika. Hmm? Tangan Ika. Longest lake in the world. Tangan Ika, longest. Lake in the world. Small, small on Tai, I would never stream Ledu. I'll share the PDF. Okay. So try to pay attention in that class. If there is an order in the teaching, then you can easily retain, remember while revising or preparing. If myself fails to organize teaching, Definitely will make further clumsy. Yeah, look at so East African Rift Valley, East East African Rift Valley, which starts from your Tangan Ika. Can you see Brew Coffee? Brew Burundi Rwanda Uganda. Brew Burundi Rwanda Uganda. So this is known as Rift Valley, starts from Tanganyika. So from this one, like this, up to Dead Sea, up to Dead Sea. This is known as Rift Valley. Maybe after 100 million years, you may have eight continents. Africa would be split into further two. There is a continental rift theory or plate tectonic theory. So based, as a result of your endogenetic forces. Yeah. <clears throat> These are the important lakes. So your Tanganyika, Victoria Lake. So now tell me that no nations which are sharing border with Victoria. How many nations are sharing? Three or four? Three. Tell me. Uganda, Kenya. Yes. Only three. Hmm. Can you locate uh, Mount Kilimanjaro, Mount Kenya, Mount Kilimanjaro and Mount Kenya? Mount Kilimanjaro is the highest peak in Africa, located in Tanzania. Mount Kenya, I think the equator is passing through it, isn't it? Mount Kenya. Now try to locate Mozambique channel, Mozambique channel. 
which separates Madagascar and Mozambique. From Madagascar, try to locate, try to see Mauritius, Seychelles, Comoros, Reunion, Zanzibar Islands. North of your Madagascar, you can see Seychelles, Agalega Islands also. South of your Madagascar, you can notice Mauritius Reunion. Zanzibar Islands, known for spices. Zanzibar Islands, known for spices. Known for spices. You can find from Tanzania. East of Tanzania. Can you locate Zanzibar? Unda? Yes. Known for spices. Locate Cape Agulhas. Cape Agulhas. Cape of Good Hope. Cape of Good Hope, Cape Agulhas. You know Cape Comorin, so the southern tip of India. Can you say uh, Africa and India, we are having some kind of similarity in terms of geography? Hmm? Only size matters. So Africa in bigger size, India is in, yes, smaller in size. Cape Google Cape Agulhas Cape of Good Hope. Now tell me, so which cape is looking like meeting point of Atlantic Ocean and Pacific Ocean? Is it Cape Agulhas or Cape of Good Hope? Cape Agulhas, yes. It's a meeting point of Atlantic and Pacific. So now there are some important islands in uh, western side of Africa, Azores Islands, try to locate in Atlantic Ocean, Azores, Canary, Cape Verde, St. Helena. Western side of Africa in Atlantic Ocean, Azores, Canary, Cape Verde, St. Helena. St. Helena, tell me that is it located? So, eastern side of your prime meridian or western side of your prime meridian? St. Helena. Hmm? Western side, yes. Western side of prime meridian. You know, Canary, Canary current, Agulhas current. Hmm? Canary is a cold current or warm current? Cold current. Yes, these are important points. These are very important points. Look at Ethiopia. 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 Is it landlocked or not? Ethiopia. Hmm? Ethiopia is a landlocked. Now tell me how many nations are sharing border with Ethiopia? Hmm? Eritrea start with Eritrea. Hmm? Eritrea. Eritrea, Dibauti, Somalia, Kenya, South Sudan, and Sudan. Six nations. Six nations sharing border with Ethiopia. Now, one important lake, Chad Lake. Chad. Now, tell me that no, Chad Lake is sharing border with how many nations? Three or four. Three or four. Niger, Nigeria, Chad, and Cameroon. Niger, Nigeria, Chad, and Cameroon. So Victoria Lakes, uh, Victoria Lake shares border with three nations, whereas Chad shares with four nations. So now see Namibia, Namibia, Botswana, Lesotho, Swaziland, South America. 
நமீபியா போஸ்வானா சுவாசிலாண்ட் லிசோத்தோ சவுத் ஆப்ரிக்கா ஸோ திஸ் லிசோத்தோ லொகேட்ஸ் லொகேட்டட் வித் இன் தி சவுத் ஆப்ரிக்கா சுவாசிலாண்ட் ஷேட்ஸ் பார்டர் வித் ஹவ் மெனி நேஷன்ஸ் சுவாசிலாண்ட் மொசாம்பிக் எஸ் அண்ட் சவுத் ஆப்ரிக்கா So, Chaitanya, what is the difference between Somali and Somali land? Yes. Now, coming to uh, organizations which are involving or promoting the interest of political, economic, cultural interest of Africa. Africa. India is equal to Africa. How? India's population is almost equal to African continent population. Africa consists of 55 nations. India is equal to North America plus South America. India is equal to North America plus Europe in terms of population. Yes, that's true. I'm not joking. It's true only. Every year we are producing true billion. Not 5 trillion economy. i can say we can say 2 billion economy yeah african union so consists of 55 members recently morocco morocco joined this african union so when it comes to africa so basically physical features are important so except this uh, south africa customs union asia african uh, africa growth corridor Yeah. African Union consists of 55 members. Its headquarters is at Addis Ababa, which is a capital city of Ethiopia. Recently, Morocco joined African Union. Next is uh, South Africa Customs Union. Next is South Africa Customs Union. so your namibia botswana south africa lesotho swaziland five nations five nations so iswatani now is the latest name for swaziland iswatani south africa customs union any important point you want to tell about namibia hmm? what is i use in say, status of cheetah african cheetah yes vulnerable that's it shall i move on yes asia african growth corridor so it's a initiative of india japan in order to promote so trade aspects with respect to different nations of africa you should remember japan india japan india it's in a joint initiative of so japan and india when shinzo abe was prime minister of japan so there is there was good rapport between prime minister modi and shinzo abe so they try to promote this one i think you might be aware he was assassinated so this is your international uh, shipping routes from malacca state malacca state to from malacca state to this one this is the international sea routes so they wanted to promote like this first you need money to develop ports okay you can generate n number of vision documents give us time one week time we'll generate n number of documents so here the uh, note worthy point is that it's initiative of india japan india japan so next is your north and south uh, america before that we need to see the map of uh, so this is your north america and south america together 
so equator passes through south america not through north america look at north america north america so try to locate davis strait there are three important states strait of dover yesterday we discussed english channel strait of dover so you are south of your united kingdom you can find english channel and strait of dover here davis strait which connects buffin bay with labrador sea very important strait new found land new found land which is known for fishing ground fishing ground which is a meeting point of gulf stream and labrador current so this is your gulf stream this is your gulf stream this is your labrador current labrador current is cold current gulf stream is warm current this is your new found land new found can you locate victoria island here victoria island buffin island greenland hudson bay great lake system of north america five lakes superior michigan huron erie ontario superior huron michigan erie ontario which is the largest fresh water lake in terms of area yes superior superior is the largest fresh water lake in terms of area largest fresh water lake in terms of volume lake baikal largest lake in terms of area caspian sea largest lake in terms of area is caspian sea which is not a fresh water salty longest is tanganyika hmm? can you locate mississippi first we'll see important uh, rivers of uh, north america mississippi mississippi missouri which is a tributary of mississippi rio grande rio grande on the border between a nations border rio grande rio grande mexico and usa so united states of america how many states are there 50 states are there what is the international latitude between canada and the usa 49 degrees locate uh, mountain range rockies which is spreading from north to south alaska range can you locate alaska range alaska range ఇక్కడ బేరింగ్ స్టేట్ కనిపిస్తుందా అలస్క నుంచి చూస్తే అలూషియన్ ఐలాండ్స్ అలూషియన్ ఐలాండ్స్ వెస్టర్న్ సైడ్ ఆఫ్ యువర్ అలస్క అలూషియన్ ఐలాండ్స్ వెస్టర్న్ సైడ్ ఆఫ్ యువర్ అలస్క రాకీ మౌంటైన్స్ ట్రావెల్ ఫ్రమ్ నార్త్ టు సౌత్ రాకీ మౌంటైన్స్ ట్రావెల్ ఫ్రమ్ నార్త్ టు సౌత్ కెన్ యూ లొకేట్ మెకెన్లీ మౌంటైన్ పీక్ mckinley mckinley what is the height of mckinley 6194 
can you locate death valley near your gulf of uh, california death valley don't confuse between death valley and dead sea can you see colorado colorado you know grand canyon grand canyon is located on colorado it's a deep gorge next locate your uh, superior michigan huron erie ontario niagara falls niagara falls between erie and ontario could able to locate saint lawrence which is just an extension from ontario lake towards gulf of saint lawrence one of the busiest uh, port one of the busiest port which is the capital city of canada ottawa can you locate montreal could you able to locate appalachian mountains rock is western side appalachian eastern side one of the oldest rocks you can compare the physiographic features of appalachian like aravalli now look at the political map of uh, north america so you are having uh, north to south canada usa mexico mexico i want a uh, small countries which are located south of mexico you know ncp party ncp sharad pawar no try to remember ncp nicaragua costa rica panama nicaragua costa rica panama ncp so north of your nicaragua you can see belize honduras gautamela at least try to uh, remember panama which is a connecting point between so north america and south america no bermuda triangle bermuda triangle can you locate bermuda triangle i am telling uh, the points of triangle miami miami bermuda puerto rico miami bermuda puerto rico miami bermuda puerto rico jamaica pakkana untundi puerto rico join cheyandi oka triangle laga triangle form avutunda miami bermuda puerto rico physical map you can find in physical map bermuda miami puerto rico the bahamas ఈ బెర్మడా ట్రయాంగిల్ లో మనకి బహమాస్ కనిపిస్తుంది మీకు ద మిస్టరీ స్టోరీస్ రిలేటెడ్ టు బెర్మడా ట్రయాంగిల్ ఇస్ బికాస్ ఆఫ్ ట్రాపికల్ సైక్లోన్స్ దే కాల్ ట్రాపికల్ సైక్లోన్స్ హెస్ హరికేన్స్ యునో టైఫోన్స్ ఇన్ సౌత్ చైనా సి హరికేన్స్ ఇన్ సో కరీబిన్ ఆర్ నార్త్ అమెరికా ట్రయాంగిల్ ఫామ్ అయింది బెర్మడా ట్రయాంగిల్ మియామి బెర్మడా పెట్టోరికా డూ యూ నో నాసా రాకెట్ లాంచింగ్ స్టేషన్ ఎక్కడ నాసా రాకెట్ లాంచింగ్ స్టేషన్ ఈస్టర్న్ సైడ్ ఆఫ్ నార్త్ అమెరికా ఆర్ వెస్టర్న్ సైడ్ Hmm? eastern side only where can you see cape canaveral cape canaveral so near to that you can find nasa rocket launching station
for this part okay now go to the physical map of uh, south america how many nations are there in south america try to count it south america how many nations are there south america how many nations are there 13 or 14 what about guyana french guyana suriname european space rocket launching station where it is located french guyana now tell me so france shares border with brazil or not france hmm? so you can find french guyana french guyana is controlled by france government france government so there are 30 nations in so south america so equator is passing through equator is passing through three nations equator colombia brazil but peru uh, it itself declares that equator is passing through it because there is a, some dispute uh, between colombia and peru there is a mutual claim so if options are there you have to eliminate peru three nations only tropic of capricorn four nations chile argentina paraguay brazil now tell me the landlocked nations of south america hmm? bolivia and paraguay now tell me which nation is which nations are not sharing border with brazil can you say brazil is sharing border with all the nations except so equator and chile can you locate atacama atacama desert atacama patagonia atacama desert patagonian desert so atacama chile patagonia argentina so in uh, andes mountains andes mountains kuda maniki rocky mountains laga north to south untundi north to south so this patagonia desert located in the rain shadow region of andes mountains in argentina i think you might be uh, reading about lithium triangle so lithium triangle abc abc what is meant by abc argentina bolivia chile now look at uh, some interesting points in brazil brazil amazon the largest river in the world can you locate rio de janeiro rio de janeiro coastal city of brazil tell me that the tropical grasslands in south america are known as tropical grasslands hmm? locate your uh, locate your llanos selvas campos pampas pampas is temperate grasslands okay you can meet this kunde if you observe this one this is your selvas selvas equatorial <coughs> rain forest selvas a equatorial rain forest llanos tropical grasslands next campos tropical grasslands pampas temperate grasslands four names are very important equatorial rain forest selvas llanos and campos tropical grasslands whereas pampas are temperate grasslands 
in patagonia desert the southern tip of south america can you locate magellan strait one important island magellan strait is separating the south america's mainland with hmm? there is one important island taira del figo taira del figo could able to locate falkland islands located in south atlantic ocean controlled by uk falkland saint helen islands located in western side of prime meridian in atlantic ocean controlled by uk no i think i forgot oceania in the map look at oceania map oceania your australia is known as oceania oceania continent oceania so australia australia new zealand papua new guinea papua new guinea in australia in australia can you see torres strait torres north of your australia torres strait papua new guinea island south torres strait which connects arafura sea with coral sea arafura sea with coral sea torres strait so up to now we have discussed very important states like malacca strait sunda strait lombok strait hmm? bering strait strait of dover english channel strait of davis magellan strait now this one is torres strait so that's a north there is one more important strait south of australia bass strait bass b a s s bass strait tasmania and tasmania is one of the province of australia tasmania is one of the province of australia great barrier reef can you locate eastern side of australia great barrier reef coral reef so great victoria desert almost 50% of australia land is a desert only great victorian desert so deserts are found between so 20 to 30 degree latitudes mostly in the western side of the continent like your thar desert or rajasthan desert here you can find victorian desert now see the important rivers in uh, uh, australia murray darling river murray darling river darling is a tributary of murray which originates from great dividing range great dividing range eastern side of your australia murray darling range now look at the political map of australia so which has been cut as like a cakes cake cut just not cut just under me north south east west queens and this is not like a cake cutting north south west queensland new south wales victoria now look at uh, new zealand new zealand consists of two islands north island and south island north island and south island known for dairy products so new zealand capital is wellington its capital located in northern islands or southern island northern island can you locate some important islands in pacific ocean micronesia melanesia polynesia micro melanesia polynesia 
ఇది ఓషి అనే మ్యాప్ లోనే మీకు కనిపించుంటుంది ఫిజీ వన్ అవర్ టూ సమావా ఫిజీ అలయన్స్ వన్ అవర్ టూ సమావ్ హవాయన్ హవాయ్ హవాయ్ ఐలాండ్స్ యూ కెన్ ఫైన్ ఇన్ ద సెంట్రల్ పసిఫిక్ ఓషన్ హవాయన్ మీ మ్యాప్స్ లో మీకు మైక్రోనేషియా మెలనేషియా పాలినేషియా సమావ్ ఇట్ వాస్ ఇన్ ద న్యూస్ బికాస్ ఇట్ మైగ్రేటెడ్ ఫ్రమ్ ఈస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఇంటర్నేషనల్ డేట్ లైన్స్ టు వెస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఇంటర్నేషనల్ డేట్ లైన్ సమావ్ what is the importance of international date line hmm? what is the importance of uh, international date line so if i say this has a international date line 180 degrees eastern as well as western so both this eastern and western longitude merges as a named as international date line so if you travel from western side to eastern side this is a international date line west to east what will happen say assume that so today is 21st isn't it 21st september if you cross from west to east what would be your date Twenty-second. 22nd or 20 22nd or 20 you are crossing from west to east you will gain day it means 20th. yes 20th gaining means one more day will be repeated the same day will be repeated west to east west to east if you are moving the day will be gaining meaning you have to subtract one day from your calendar if you are traveling from east to west you will be losing the day clear can you locate international date line from bering strait from bering strait it is not a single strait longitude isn't it it is not a strait longitude it is bending because it's a political concept international date line is a political concept so that's one of the reason so if you are observing tv channels on uh, uh, i mean new year these islands this uh, islands of pacific ocean new zealand australia japan this nation celebrates 1st january 1st clear yeah <clears throat> now coming to uh, latin america so in case of north and south america north america you know south america you know so what is meant by latin america they call the land of romantic languages so like Span- spanish french from your mexico from mexico from mexico to uh, south america it is known as latin america this is your central america north america south america from here to here so from here to here it is known as latin america more than 20 countries are there so next is mercosur mercosur it's a common market area common market area so you should remember the number of nations venezuela has been recently suspended from this block venezuela is not a member of mercosur as of now only four members like argentina brazil paraguay uruguay mercosur how many nations are there four venezuela has been suspended okay. next 10 minutes i'll be uh, summing up your important organizations like united nations world bank imf wto unicef unesco unup IS, iucn g4 g7 g8 is organizations now look at uh, united nations you know united nations so formally it is a league of nations so established in 1945 after second world war 
its headquarters is at new york as of now there are 193 nations recent has been south sudan 193 so this vatican city palestine are having observer status clear so in united nations you are having six principal organizations like general assembly security council court of justice so secretariat trusteeship council economic and social council you should remember the six organs i'll give the pdf in the telegram just pay an attention so there are six organs or principal organi- organizations of united nations so general assembly security council economic and social council trusteeship council secretariat so security council you are having permanent members as well as non permanent members given for 2 years so india is having non permanent membership from january 2021 to december 2022 as of now india is a non permanent member of un security council so these are known as specialized organizations what you have to remember is their headquarters that's it how to remember there are 15 if you include so this three into the uh, the old bank group it is 17 some places you might be reading 17 some places 15 it's because of if i split the grouping of old bank into three it will come as a 17 otherwise it is known as 15 if anything related to agriculture try to remember it is located in rome if you are having confusion go for geneva okay you see that international labor organization hmm? labor organization so almost majority majority of the organizations they are having headquarters at geneva i have not mentioned here the important is unicef UNICEF United Nations Children Fund where it is UNICEF New York UNESCO Paris UNESCO Paris IUCN Switzerland IUCN Switzerland it is not a UN body IUCN is not a UN body so your world economic forum is not a UN body what about IAEA International Atomic Energy Agency Vienna is it un body yes it is a un body within the internal affairs of united nations the first statement itself in the website of uh, iaea so uh, explicitly mention that it's a un body <clears throat> next to your world bank world bank and imf their headquarters is at washington dc these are known as brayton woods systems mainly established to promote the stability in the old economic order one promotes the development another promotes exchange rate stability brayton woods system international monetary fund so who it is not a un body its headquarters is at geneva as of now how many members are there 164 164 recent has been uh, afghanistan afghanistan recently it's a 12th ministerial summit or conference held at ekda yes i think i have mentioned geneva 12th ministerial conference your doha development round is related to wto so dunkel draft get general agreement on tariffs and tariffs in i mean trade in tariffs there is one more treaty related to uh, this wto yes marrakesh treaty marrakesh treaty so this maastricht treaty treaty of lisbon related to european union whereas marrakesh treaty related to wto iucn as we mentioned that it is uh, located at Switzerland International Union for Conservation of Nature which is known for its extraordinary work with respect to red list of threatened species red book popularly known as red book you are near threatened vulnerable endangered critically endangered extinct in the wild extinct in the no data yes no data brics 
Five Nations. So, 13th summit in 2021 held by India. 14th China. 15th would be BRICS. In the same order. India, China. Next is South Africa. 14th summit. So, held by China. 15th is going to be South Africa, which has established New Development Bank. Its headquarters is at Shanghai. You know KV Kamat? Yes. yes. His tenure was over in the year 2020. He was replaced by Marcus Prado from Basel. Very important. Because KV Kamat has been appointed as a chairperson of National Bank for Financial Infrastructure and Development which is a statutory body recently constituted, NABFID. So these four organizations are very important, NSC, AZ, uh, MTCR, Vasnar arrangement. Just to try to remember only one point, Australian grouping related to chemical and biological weapons, missile technology control regime related to missiles, including UAV, unmanned aerial vehicles, Australian group, MTCR, Vasanar arrangement. It is related to conventional weapons. It is related to conventional and dual use. What about NSC? Nuclear supply group. So related to nuclear technology. India is a member of only three except NSC. So this BRS convention often in the news, Bessel convention, Stockholm convention, Rotterdam convention. I think Stockholm convention, you might have read about persistent organic pollutants. So in the, in the context of banning endosulfan, hmm? whereas Bessel convention is related to convention, a control of transboundary movement of hazardous. Whereas Rotterdam, three consent of movement of so certain hazardous chemicals. Okay. Any further doubts? So I hope I have covered major aspects of international relations. Thank you.